Hey everyone, it's me, Chandler Kozlovich. If you liked our previous podcast, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Chandler Kozlovich. And if you'd like, you can check us out on Instagram at CJRT Media for info regarding future podcasts, dates, and times. Hello everyone, and welcome to the CJRT Podcast. I'm Chandler Kozlovich. Jill has the night off, and I have a question. What is going on in the sports world right now? We just had the Super Bowl. Hockey and basketball are in progress, but what are the few sports not a lot of people watch besides the people who already play the sport? In this case, I'm talking about golf and archery. Now, we don't hear a lot about golf or archery stuff, unless you're Tiger Woods or in the archery world, Levi Morgan. How would it feel to talk to a golfer and someone who does archery as well? My guest on the CJRT podcast today is Hannah Craig. Hannah is a Perrysburg High School senior who is not only a golfer, but is also a good archer as well. She joins us now by phone from her home in Perrysburg, Ohio. Hannah Craig, thank you for joining us. Hello, thanks for having me. And I'd like to just ask, you know, like, what inspired you to become a golfer? Let's start with the golfing stuff first. Like, what inspired you to become a golfer? So it's a really funny story. So pretty much I was like going into high school and my parents were like, hey, we we want you to be involved. We don't want you sitting at home being lazy, you know? And I was like, I had no idea what to do. But my eighth grade history teacher one day stopped me in the halls and was like, I'm putting your name down for the golf team and you're going to be there August 1st. You're not telling me no. And I said, okay, cool. And I was like really thinking about it and I wasn't going to go. And then like, I just went for it, picked up my golf clubs two weeks before tryouts. And I was like, we're going to we're going to full send this. And here I am today. So like you've been playing ever since eighth grade, then two weeks before freshman year. I got you. So you've been playing basically been playing golf all throughout high school, basically. Yes, I got you. Um, so in golf, what is um, Jill wanted me to ask you this, actually. What is your highest par you have gotten in your time of playing golf? highest like so does she mean like best par yeah i think that's what i think that's what she means okay so pretty much my best score on nine holes was three under which at the course i was playing was 37 and then on 18 my best score is a 78 okay so um besides that um what would your personal best be like your personal score in golf um Probably when I shot my uh, 32. And when would that have been? Um, my sophomore year going into districts. Now, have you gotten any birdies or eagles during your time as playing golf? Uh, yes. And I still to this day remember my first one. My first birdie was at a little golf course we have down here in Ohio called Fallen Timbers. And I was going there to practice for one of my rounds that was coming up in the next couple of weeks as a freshman. And I just wanted to get to know the course. And I was around the green and I chipped in for a birdie. And then my first eagle um, was at my home course, White Pines, which is also just another little public course around us. It was a short par four. I drove the green, which was like 302 yards. I drove the green and um, had like a six foot eagle tap in. 300 yards oh geez well 300 i mean that's a lot longer than it is in archery i think like oh yeah like now i think we're gonna now start off going into the archery part i mean before we even do that um do you have like any tips or anything to explain for like future golfers or future or anybody who already plays really like what can they do to be better or what would you say to them so coming from a self-taught golfer i You know, people are like YouTube, watching YouTube, learning how to do stuff is always the worst thing possible for you. But I was self-taught freshman year to now. I still haven't had a swing coach. I still haven't had like a professional coach help me. Everything I've learned and taught myself to get where I am today was on YouTube. So if you don't know how to do something, there's most likely a YouTube video in golf to do it. And, you know, it might be a training exercise. It might be a practice routine. It might be something that really clicks your game together. Now, what would your favorite club be? Do you use, like, Um, driver or iron, putter? Definitely my driver because my iron game is okay, but my driver, I um, have so much upper body power from archery, from shooting archery, that I can just hit the ball so far and take take a long hole right away and just have to 
have a li- nice little chip or pitch in. So I got gotcha. you. OK, so we gotten through your golfing part. Um, I also do want to ask, though, like you are a senior this year. You're going to be going to college next um, coming in the fall. Um, is there are you doing golf for college? Uh, yes, I am. I'm playing um, golf for Spring Arbor University. Actually, go Cougars. That's out in Ann Arbor, isn't it? Um, actually, it's right outside of Jackson, Michigan. So you. where I'm from, I have to go through Ann Arbor to get there. Okay, so now we've gotten through your golfing strategies. Now we're going to get into the archery part. Now, what inspired you to become an archer? When I was three years old, my grandpa got me a bow for Christmas. And I kind of just messed around in the yard. And my grandpa was just always so, like, seeing the smile on my grandpa's face just made it so easy to want to do that sport. And so then as I got old enough to do the tournament, I was like, let's try this. Then I was state ranked and going to national shoots and having fun and getting to meet new people. It was, it's a great experience. What would you say your, your personal best really? Um, Cause I know it's I been a had, while since you've actually done archery. I had a 305 spot, which if many, many people don't know what that is, but pretty much a 305 spot for an archer is a perfect game. And I think I had, and I was only like 12 years old. So I had a perfect game with like 25 X's or something. So not too many X's, but you know, it was an X count. (laughs) And then uh, we also have a 420 round and I shot a 390, I believe. A 390, never heard of that one before. Me being an archer myself, I never really thought um, there was ever a 390 on this. 300 is the highest you can get. If you count the X's, you mostly get like 360-ish or so, I think. Uh, there's, I, I, um, I mean, that's just from how I thought of it. But, you know, I haven't even done archery myself in a while. So it's yeah, been a while uh, since I've actually couple, tried it. Yeah, a couple of years ago, um, they came out with the 420 round, which means you can max out as a 7 SEX. And it's a very complicated scoring system. But that was actually my state record. I was 14 years old. And in my class, I shot, had the state record for that. I don't. I believe someone beat it, so you probably can't find it anymore. But I promise there was a state record there. Have you been to the Vegas shoot? Because I've heard that one um, before. No, I haven't. But my parents haven't. I've heard it was the greatest experience they've ever had. For those who don't know a lot about archery, you know, like, what bows have you shot? Um, okay, so I started out with a very simple Matthew Menace bow. And I shot that for, so I shot archery for 13 years. I would have to say I shot that bow for six of those. And then I went on to, I forget what elite bow it was, but I shot an elite bow and I was at the stage where, you know, you get taller and you know, in archery, at least you do, the people listening probably don't, but as you grow, your arms get longer and you have to adjust a lot in archery to your arm length. And elites, how they had at the time, they had mods and those mods were a hundred bucks a pop. That was getting real expensive. And so then I moved on to the PSE 3D Dominator Max. I had a pro version. A pro sent me their specialized bow that they weren't shooting. It was the best bow I ever had. And I'm glad I got to end on that one. Now, have you done 3D archery? Yes. That's how my name in the archery world actually got around. I started as a 3D archer. And then from there, many of the 3D archers were trying to get me to shoot paper because I already did 3D. I did field. All I had to do was get that paper in there. Um. Well, first off, let's start. Let's go back. Let's round back to golf. Like in golfing, what is the best type of weather to play in? In your opinion? Um, see, I take my golf game very serious. So I golf in any weather, but my preferred weather would be 75 degrees, no winds, sunny, maybe a little bit of humidity just to have the thick, like not too much, but a little bit of thickness in the air, you know? What would the weather be for archery? Um, Not going to lie. I think when I was younger, I shot mostly in the rain because, you know, Michigan weather. We had a couple good shoots where it was 70, 80 degrees, but you spend all day in the woods, so you don't feel that heat as much. But probably the same thing as golf, 75, 80 degrees with a little bit of humidity. Sure. sure. Okay. So beside the archery and golf, um, do you play any other sports? Uh, no, I do not. So just the archery and golf? Yeah. 
besides doing sports, if you're not doing golf or archery, what is it you're doing outside of those? I'm actually the president of my girls robotics team at school. So if I'm not playing golf or shooting archery, um, I'm building a robot and competing with that. Like I asked you before, um, for anybody who's wanting to get into the sports and archery or golf, um, what tips would you want to give for both sports? And do you like have any other further statements about that? I would just say hard work, commitment, and practice. Practice, practice, practice. If you're not putting in the practice, you're not going to get the results. But with both sports, all you have to do is pick it up and try and have a good time. Don't get frustrated or mad. Just put a smile on your face and be the most optimistic you can. Because in the long run, it's going to be the best thing that anybody ever does. Well, it looks like we've come to the conclusion of the CGRT podcast. Uh, my guest was Hannah Craig. She is a Perrysburg High School senior who is all, who's a golfer and an archer. And Hannah, we would like to thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. And we would like to thank you for joining us here on the CJRT podcast.